We're very excited. Malala is actually our new river otter pup. He was born nine weeks ago. He is currently about 2,000 grams, which is a lot bigger than he was when he was born. He was about a handful of jelly beans when he was born. So he's growing very fast and we're super excited to have him on exhibit. He has been developing quite the personality as he gets older. When they're first born, their eyes are closed, they're fully furred, but they're actually not very mobile. So mom basically has to do everything for them. As he's gotten older, he's starting to walk around, he's gonna start swim lessons. People might actually be really surprised, but baby otters don't know how to swim when they're first born. They actually have to go through swim lessons, which sounds kind of silly, being that they are water-loving mammals. So mom will actually drag them out onto the exhibit and throw them in the water. This might look a little brutal to us. It's kind of scary for us to watch, but it's natural for them. So mom gets them in the water. They actually float, they're quite buoyant, and he'll start doggy paddling around. What kind of looks scary for all of us watching is mom has to actually teach him how to dive. So you'll see her pushing him underneath the water and holding him down there just to kind of get him used to being underwater. So as he continues to develop his swimming skills, he'll get a little bit faster. He'll start diving in on his own. But initially it looks a little brutal because she pretty much has to drag him around the whole exhibit. About 9.30 is when mom is given access to the exhibit and Mo can actually go on out with her. He is getting more adventurous, so kind of doing his own thing, but they are mostly visible between 9.30 and about 12 o'clock, so about lunchtime, so we give him a little break and he can get some sleep. River otters are native to this area. Tilly, which is Mo's mother, was actually orphaned in the Clackamas area and brought here to the zoo. When guests come to visit Tilly and Mo, they're actually helping to support Metro, which is our governing body here at the Oregon Zoo. They're helping to restore those wetlands and riverbank areas that our native river otters actually live in, and hopefully you'll be able to see them out on your own. It's really exciting for us to be able to be a part of that.